Before Book March can be, I had sort of plateaued in my career. I was getting some TV auditions. I knew some branding and business things, but I just felt so stuck and really so very hopeless. Um, I wanted some inspiration and um, Christine's course just had really um, a bunch of things that I, I realized that I didn't know. Because the thing is, you don't know what you don't know. And the longer that I've been in the acting business, the more I realized that. So I didn't really know what to expect when I enrolled in the course. And with the first module, I felt I knew some of the things that were being taught. But by the second module, I was just blown away by the depth of the information and the specificity of um, the details. There were well, the module that really got me, I think, might have been the self tape bonus where it, I just realized there were so many things impacting my self tapes that I had no idea about um, and ways I could fix it and make it better. And it wasn't anything necessarily to do with my acting abilities. It was more to do with just how I set it up. Bookmore TV really helped me take the narrative of my own acting journey back into my own hands, which was really just empowering. Christine's coaching style is very personal because, or it feels very personal because she does talk to the camera in front of, you know, what you would see in a self tape, kind of like a, the backdrop. And it feels like not only does she, does she show that she understands exactly what you're going through, um, but she'll show you how to get to where you want to go too. Um, so it's personal both on kind of a one-on-one -on -one level, even though it's not necessarily real time, and then also on a professional level. I would say personal win is definitely knowing where and how to set up a self tape. I thought I had a pretty good idea of my branding and how to approach kind of presenting myself. Um, some of that was definitely validated in the exercises and in the self tape challenge. Um, but some of that also, I didn't realize where I fit in or didn't fit in in certain markets. And so learning that was finally like a big sigh of relief to understand, oh, this is what the CW action looks like. This is what this, you know, let's say HBO, this is what that actually looks like. And I finally feel like I had a tangible understanding. Acting as a business comes and goes. You will have really good years and then you'll have years where you have to figure some things out. And the more that you have in your back pocket, or I would say in your, you know, yeah, in your back pocket to pull from, or that you understand about the business side of things, the more that you can set yourself up from the business side, but also still see the artistic side, the, the longer you, you'll be able to weather an acting career. Right now we're in the middle of a pandemic, which, you know, has really impacted this industry. And knowing that ha I have a better idea of how to pivot or move forward during it and after, after it has just been a game changer for me. The acting world, we all want a really long career and the best way for a long career is to have all the information available. And for an actor, I think that most of us are trained in, in the artistic side of things, but having the business knowledge, where you fit in and where you will, and knowing how to you know alter and pivot when you move into the next age category, or if you change your hair, or if something else changes, or even how to kind of go from one way that the industry sees you into another is invaluable.